policy of closing schools during the coronavirus pandemic. The team from University College London said that keeping pupils at home had little impact, even with other lockdown measures. Mm. Our correspondent Laura Foster is here with me. So Laura, tell us more about this research. Why are they saying this? Well, they looked at 16 studies in total and they varied mm. on whether they cut the spread of coronavirus, the spread of influenza, mm. or indeed the SARS outbreak in 2003. And what they found is that while school closures helped during an outbreak of seasonal flu, the same is not true of coronavirus. And during the SARS epidemic, school closures did not help control that. Now the researchers admit that more there is still not a lot of data on the benefits of school closures, but what it does show is the impact of closing them alone only leads to a small prevention in the number of deaths, two to four percent. Now that might surprise people because parents in particular know that when it comes to certain diseases, children are super spreaders. They send off their kid to school, comes back with a bug. But what the authors are saying here is rather than disrupting a child's education and all the knock-on effects that has for households, actually what we should do is close the school playgrounds, space out the seats in classrooms, and keep students in the same classroom all day. Now, the scientists who worked on the modelling that the current government advice was based on, they're saying that this research doesn't look at how school closures combine and work with the social distancing measures and the lockdown measures that are currently in place. What we do know is that schools have been closed for two weeks, they're now on Easter holidays. The government is going to review the situation after Easter and says it will continue to be informed by the science. Okay, Laura, many thanks. Laura Foster then. The mobile system WhatsApp has introduced new stricter limits on message forwarding in a bid to 